If you're a small business owner, the new stimulus package may provide you with money that you need to help your business survive the crisis. As of what we know right now, there are two main programs for small business owners that are funded by the stimulus legislation. One is the Paycheck Protection Program, and then the second is the Economic Injury Disaster Loan or EIDL Loan Program. The Paycheck Protection Program is a loan that can be fully forgiven if you spend it on the right expenses. Now, there are two main types of PPP loans in the stimulus legislation. One is a brand new loan, so if you missed out in 2020, you have a chance to apply now. If you already got a PPP loan, you may qualify for a second PPP loan, and that loan may also be forgiven. To apply for a PPP loan, you need to go to an SBA-approved PPP lender. You don't apply to the Small Business Administration, you apply to a lender. And that doesn't necessarily have to be your bank or a big bank. There are also many online lenders who are working with borrowers who may not have a strong business banking relationship. The Economic Injury Disaster Loan, or EIDL program, offers a low interest rate loan to businesses impacted by the COVID crisis. But what's more popular is the grant. The grant offers up to $10,000 to certain small businesses affected by COVID-19. Now, some business owners who applied in 2020 didn't get the grant because the program ran out of money. There's new funding available. And if you got a small grant, but you didn't get the full 10,000, you may be able to get the rest of that $10,000. To apply for an economic injury disaster loan or grant, you must go to the Small Business Administration, sba.gov. I talk to a lot of small business owners and many of them pass up this opportunity or get frustrated and give up. But Think about it like a client. Let's say you had a client who was willing to spend $150,000 or $250,000 for your business. What would you do to land that client? Well, in this case, the government is your client. And if you put in the work, you may get this money, you won't have to pay taxes on it, and in the end, it could be well worth the time invested. This is a changing topic, so you can make sure you check the latest information and feel free to leave your questions and comments and I'll do my best to provide more guidance on how these programs work.